Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are doing another SAS haul. Now this is two separate trips that I made to Bath and Body Works, one being New Year's Eve and the other yesterday, January 2nd, which was my birthday. Along with this haul, I am going to include my birthday gifts that two of my friends went out of their way with and got me some Bath and Body Works items. They did not need to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and include them because I'm now adding that stuff into my collection and I'm very grateful for it. So let's go ahead and get started. So New Year's Eve, I was so excited. I went over to the wall where everything's supposed to be full price and I double checked the You're the One perfume and I found another one. If you watch my previous hauls, I did get one from a store that is further away from me. Now this is a store that's close to me and I had checked them previously and they didn't have any. They were all just the 1.7 fluid ounce, which is not on sale, just the 3.4. They had like three or four. My fiance was with me and he gave me a reality check. He was kind of like, do you really need any more than just maybe like an extra? And I was like, you're right, you're right. And I kind of wish they would put them on the 75% off table if they want to get rid of them. Because if you're not super into Bath and Body Works and watching all these YouTuber videos like I am, you're not going to know that it's 75% off. So I don't really know what they're going to do about that, but I did just pick up one more. The notes on this are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. The packaging on this bottle, and I showed it in my last video, but I just can't get over how pretty it is. So I'm so excited that I now have two of those in my collection. And I don't regret not getting more. So I'm glad that I got one more because I was so excited about it. Um, but I also got a body cream to go with it. Now this was on the 75% off table and they've had this scent for a couple days now. But oh, it just smells so good. But the packaging's so pretty and I figured, I already have a full set of You're the One but I figured I might as well get another body cream now that I have two perfumes and I'm sure they're gonna last me a good while, but added that. And then the last two things are just little items. I got two hand creams, one in You're the One. It seems like I'm obsessed with this scent. I mean, it is super, super good, but usually I stick more to like I, I buy a bit of everything. As you can see behind me, I kind of got the sweet scents, the fruity scents, the clean scents. So this is definitely more of a perfumey scent. It's very much mature, um, but I did another one of these. I think I have two You're the One hand creams already. So now I have three. And then I also got a Winterberry Wonder. I could have went crazy and bought way more hand creams. They were only like $1.63, I want to say but I have a lot of hand creams and I'm buying them more than I'm using, quicker than I'm using them. So I'm glad that I just stuck with two. And this packaging's all right, but I don't have Winterberry Wonder and it smells really good. But I don't think they had any more Merry Cookie or Hot Cocoa and Cream, which I was really stocking up on, especially when they had that mini sale at the beginning of December. I bought a lot of hand creams, so I figured I'll just grab two and be happy with that. And then that was all for New Year's Eve. Now, from yesterday, my birthday, me and my fiance went in the mall. He wanted to go to a couple of places and we were just kind of like spending the day together. And I saw candles on the 75% off table and I'm friends with one of the associates. Um, we went to high school together and had classes and stuff. So we were catching up and this was like, earlier in the week and she was like are you looking for anything specific and I was like honestly I'm looking for three wick candles 75% off and she's like we haven't gotten any in like I don't think we're gonna have any sadly like I just don't I don't think so but I did find one that was in the 50% off or 11.95 candle area that was six dollars and twelve cents so I and I told her about that and she's like oh well sometimes if you look through and get them price checked we don't even know that they're 75% off. So when I saw these ones on the table, I was so excited and I just ran, grabbed them, call me crazy, but I didn't even smell them in the store. I just grabbed them. So the first one is Beach, Beach Sage and Mint. And the notes on this are Vibrant Mint Sprigs, Coastal Sage and Crisp Bergamot. So I didn't smell it at first. I smelled it when I got in the car and not to say that I wouldn't have bought it if I smelled it, because $6, I mean, 
any candles like I, I'm not picky with scents at all so I will really burn whatever I'll wear whatever but this scent is a little bit different than I thought um it's just really herbal scented and not to say that it's bad but I'm not in love with it but I'm definitely gonna burn it and I'm gonna enjoy it the packaging so pretty it's kind of just like a fresh scent with an interesting mint it's not the mint that you would think if you've had this candle or you've smelled it before let me know how you interpret it because it's a little different than I'm used to but I'm definitely glad that I got it because it was so inexpensive and I also bought two more so I got three now in my collection but the packaging so pretty and I'm gonna burn them I'm probably gonna burn them in the living room um because I feel like even if they're not strong throwing they're gonna be strong in the sense of the notes in them like I think the mint is really gonna stand out so I'm very interested to see how I feel once I burn them which won't be for a while because I just keep smelling it because it's just, it's such an odd scent. But it's, I think it's just odd to me because that's usually not what I'm drawn to. I'm usually really drawn to pumpkin scents, honestly. That's like my favorite type of candle, which you can't burn pumpkin all year round. So I needed more scents like this in my collection that I can burn between March and probably august that would be like a wide window whereas if you have pumpkin candles you're only gonna be able to burn that for like three months like you have like a three month period where pumpkins kind of end so i'm glad that i got three of them and then the last one which i know i love this candle this is sweater weather it is fresh sage juniper berry eucalyptus and fresh woods and i love this packaging with these little snowflakes i don't think i have anything like this in my collection in this packaging from this collection um from this collection in my collection um but it smells so good it's like a cologne scent i really really like this so i'm super excited that i picked this up and that's it from the hauls now we will get into my birthday gifts so there's like she got me like some makeup brushes and this really cute little mug she got it from hallmark it's the porter brand it's a little dirty from like we she got me a cake too so we like cut the cake and there was like um candles that had edible confetti it was like sprinkles or whatever but it's kind of on this but i think i'm gonna use this for coffee and it just has like this little lid um I got an espresso for graduation, so I think I'm just going to fill this with coffee, like, on my way to work. But it's so cute. But the Bath & Body Works item, that's what we're here for. Um, she did get me a strawberry pound cake one wick. I love strawberry pound cake, especially in candles. And I have one behind me already, but I haven't burnt that one yet. But it's just such a strong scent, and I love strong scents in one wicks. So I'm definitely excited about this. So adding that to my collection, I'm going to have to move my candles and make some room up there because I also got that very waffle cone for, at SAS. So then my other friend, she got me, I'll just include this, a $25 Dunkin' gift card. She was so sweet. I'm obsessed with my coffee. So that was definitely nice of her. And then she got me a fresh cut lilacs single wick. And this packaging is so pretty. I love the purple with the gold lid. It just looks so nice. Um, now, <laughs> my grandmother, I call her Nanny. My Nanny loves lilacs, loves painting them. Her whole bathroom is like lilac themed. So this reminds me of her, which it, it it's, that's what I relate it to, which is really nice. I mean, the girl that got me this had, doesn't know that, but that's that's all I think about. I think about my nan when I smell this. And it's a very nice scent. It's also just not something I'm used to. I'm kind of like trying, especially when I get them on sale or get them as gifts, I'm trying to venture out and burn more candles that are out of my comfort zone of like that sweet gourmand, even fruity type candles. Because really, like until I got into Bath & Body Works, I was not burning candles like I do now so I would only burn the ones that I like picked up at TJ Maxx or whatever and they were usually in the fall that's when I would be more driven to burn a candle but now 
I have to have candles for all year round. And I kind of thought about exchanging this one out, but I don't think I can because I'm very intrigued to burn this and see how strong it is. I think I have a fresh cut lilacs that I got in a three wick from last SAS, I believe. I'll have to look through and find it, but oh, it doesn't have notes on it, but I don't know. I'm excited. It's just not something I'm used to. So we'll see how this burns. And then she got me this little set. Now this is in white tea and sage. This is also a little bit out of my comfort zone, but this is what's nice about gifts because I'm going to use these items. I'm not going to exchange them. But the there's a pocket back in citrus and aloe. There is a hand cream in white tea and sage and a hand soap in white tea and sage. Now this scent is very much fresh, clean. Um, I know they tried to come out with it in body care and I was not interested in that. I don't think I could wear that on my body. But as like a hand soap, especially like in the kitchen, like a very clean type of hand soap I think it'll work perfect there um the hand cream I'll probably just throw it in my car or whatever but I'm very thankful that they got me these items so we'll have to see how this candle is and I'll have to let you guys know if you've burnt this let me know um as you saw in my last haul I got three of the bloom white gardenia candles in the three wicks so I'm, I'm building up my collection here with these fresh clean florals so we will see um but thank you so much for watching and thank you to everybody who commented on my last videos i am actually going to be doing a collection video well videos um what you see in this frame is a very small portion of everything that i have so i think i'm gonna have to do it in parts and let me know below if that's like okay and um recommendations on how I should go about it I'm gonna start filming it now I think um after this video so I think I'm gonna start off with like my scrubs or maybe single wicks and three wicks like do all the candles together so we're gonna see how much I get filmed today um but definitely stay tuned for those videos it's gonna be a lot of work taking everything down because like everything you see here there are I think I can fit four items from the front to the back. Is that right? Yeah. That's some is nuts. Or maybe five. I don't know if it's four or five, but each, there's so much behind that you can't even see. So, and I have a whole cubicle, if you can see my candles there. I got a lot. So stay tuned, leave suggestions down below. Everybody wanted to see collection videos, so I'm gonna do what you guys want. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.